What's up, guys? Dennis Dotson right here. Oh, my God. You see the carpet is missing. You see the carpet is missing. I have a whole lot of work to do. But I woke up so grateful, so thankful. Why? Because I have breath to breathe. Guys, when I woke up, I stretched. I let the universe feel my presence. I say, universe, I'm here to achieve my goals today. I'm just so excited, guys, because I'm going to go talk to my guy, Noel Rendon. You see it, Rendon Realty. I get to go talk to my guy, Real Estate Talk Live, on his podcast. It's going to be an amazing time. Then I have another meeting. Then um, I probably ride on the bike with my guys today. So, But before all of that, you know what I got to do. I definitely got to take my I definitely got to take my NutraCell. Oh, oh, you got to start your day off right. You got to make sure you put the right stuff in so the right stuff goes out. Guys, stay locked with me all day today. It's going to be amazing. God bless you guys. Peace. One day I'm going to pull up on them wheels and give you chick chills. Yeah. Goosebumps on her neck. Make a wet. She'll be waking up in my bed with paid bills. Yeah. All right, guys. So today I'm going to uh, Real Estate Talk Live with my guy, uh, Noel Rendon. I'll tell you what, guys. Um... The agency, the brokerage, is doing some phenomenal things. Just, when I first met him, uh, well, actually, I've known him for a long time, but when I first met him in the business scenario, I realized how much effort he was putting towards his agents, um, and I knew that he had a heart for people, and that's one of the main reasons why I linked up with him. Um, of course, there's always good business to do, um, but I just love being a part and linked up with people who also care about people and know how to, uh, to teach them to go to the next phase of life. So today on this podcast, hopefully that's what we get to do. Hopefully we're able to kind of chop it up, give people some tools uh, that they need to succeed. Sorry, Guys, we're about to go live in about 30 seconds-ish. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that we both we all define success and wealth differently. Yeah. Correct, yeah. What, what would you say? Ooh. What would you good say? Topic. Yeah, that's yeah. a good topic. You yeah. like that? I like that. <laughs> all right, let's, which one you want to dive into, success uh, the, or wealth? The wealth. The let's wealth. dive into wealth? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so tell me, what is your definition of wealth? Mm. All right, guys, I just finished a uh, wonderful podcast, Real Estate Talk Live with um, Rendon Realty, Noel Rendon. Um, and his wife, I tell you what, man, this was something that I believe everybody needs to watch. So what I'll do, I'll put a link in the description. If you're serious about achieving your goals, you need to watch this video. Okay, watch this video. Um, there were some great nuggets, great things that were said. Um, surround yourself with people like that. People who are winning. Surround yourself with people who are winning. And that's exactly how you level up as well in your life. I told them that I was going to take 10 agents uh, and, and actually um, help level them up through video, through marketing, through branding. Um, so I hope that those guys take advantage of it um, and actually uh, reach out to me through RendonRealty.com. So anyway, God bless you guys. Listen, we got a busy day. We got a busy day. So now I'm headed to my... A uh, three o'clock meeting with Keisha Barnett. You know Let's go. King. I'm on top of the globe. Yeah, you know I'm on, girl. You already know that I'm a king. You can tell by the way that I do my thing. I'm a king. You know I'm a king. I'm on top of the globe. Yeah, you know I'm on, girl. You already know that I'm a king. You can tell by the way that I do my thing. I'm a king. You know I'm a king. What's up? How you doing? What are we doing? What are we on? You on the vlog? Oh shoot! What's going on? You know now. Don't make me turn on that. Jesus. <laughs> if you had to give some of these young women some advice, because I see you living your best life, you doing your thug fizzle. <laughs> if you had to give them advice on how to get the right man, what would you say? You gotta do some self checking. You gotta get that mirror out and see all of the ugly aspects about yourself that nobody has control over but you. You got to ask yourself, okay, why did I stay in this situation? Why was I there too long? What was it That's about deep, me that I said this was okay? If you're a young woman, you you looking for that that right person, I will say that one thing I've watched her do is do that self-evaluation. Go ahead and put that work in because it's going to take that in order for you to find the right person. You're going to have to put the work in. It's uncomfortable. It's going to hurt because mm. uh, anytime you start digging, you're going to discover pain. And most people, when they discover pain, they don't know what to do with it. Right. So 
is going to take that and you have to start being honest with yourself and realizing why you're actually doing the dysfunctional behavior. I'm guilty too. Don't I'm not sitting here saying it as if I'm not guilty. I'm guilty too. Um, but we do have to take that time to get ourselves together so that we can be right for that person. The worst thing ever would be for the right person to show up and you're not ready for. Oh, oh that's him. what I do. All right, guys, let me tell y'all what happened. I finished my last meeting at about 4.30 and I was supposed to jump on a bike tonight with a couple of my guys. I had already kind of planned it out. But when I got home, I sat down and when I did, there was no getting up. My body, after not being, after not being asleep for about a little over 36 hours, probably longer than that for sure. Um, just wasn't, wasn't having it, was not going to get up for me. So I missed my I missed my guys tonight. We didn't get to ride. Um, and as I woke up right now at about 1 o'clock in the morning, I'm hungry. So I had to run to uh, Walmart real quick, grab me some raisin bread. And uh, now I'm headed back to the house. So. Guys, this is how we end in this vlog today. Um, if I can tell you anything, get some sleep, okay? God bless you guys, peace.